The hide and unhide command in Evil Gen X2 is such a useful command because what it does is you can manually hide your fishing site and manually unhide your fishing site. What makes it so useful is that whenever you send off an email with your phishing link, some companies might have one of their detection software click that link and see if it's an actual good site or malicious site. So scenario being, you send off 10 phishing emails, you notice that all of a sudden you get 10 clicks and you think that you have such an amazing campaign going. But what's really going on is whenever you sent those emails, it went into those users' inboxes and the client's detection software clicked that link, saw that it was a phishing site and possibly blacklist your site and the campaign's over. So that's where this command is gonna be very useful because you can hide it you could send off your phishing emails, and then after a few minutes that you determine it's safe again, you can unhide your fishlet, and you won't have to worry about that initial click by the client's detection software. And this command was implemented whenever Evil Gen X 2 first came out. And again, shout out to Kay Gretzky for even creating this tool. So let's take a look and see how it works. So first, let's take a look at the documentation. Again, this was released whenever Evil Gen X 2 first came out. So this article got posted way back in 2018. And in the section for anti-phishing tricks that the creator has put into this tool, it talks about hiding your fishlets. So basically what it says here is that they're trying to come up with ways to get around your site from being detected as a phishing site. And one of the things is you can hide and unhide your phishing page whenever you want. And basically what it does is it will redirect the user to wherever you set it to. By default, it mentions that it's to a clip on YouTube. And it talks about another use case, which is temporarily hiding your fishlet whenever you want to shorten your URL, such as using Bitly. And like I mentioned, also whenever you're sending Fisher URLs and you don't want to trigger any email scanners along the way. And I'll put a link to this documentation in the description below. All right, so let's fire up Evil Gen X. I already have the configuration pretty much set. If you don't know how to configure it, I have a link in my channel about how to completely set it up. So we're starting from Evil Gen X already being set up and I have my lures created. So the first thing we need to do is set up the redirect URL that's gonna redirect the scanners or whoever's clicking on this hidden link and it's gonna send them to the set URL. And that's gonna be under the config command and this is different from the lures redirect, which is right here. So we're not messing with the redirect URL in the lures command. We're messing with the redirect URL in the config. And again, this value is a URL that redirects the user whenever there's an error. In this case, it's a 302 redirect, so that's why it's using the redirect URL. The lures redirect, that's whenever the user completely finishes with the phishing site and they get the cookie and everything, and then they get redirected to this provided URL. So to change the redirect URL and config, you just do config, redirect URL, and to show the clear distinction that it's redirecting somewhere else other than the phishing site, which is set as an Outlook fishlet, I'm gonna redirect to google.com. Normally, I would redirect it, if I'm using like Outlook, I would redirect it to the real site. But again, just to show the clear distinction, I'm gonna just redirect it to google.com. And you can see unauthorized request redirections set to google.com. So if we look at our fishlets right now, we'll see that it's enabled and the status is set to available. Now the status column is what's gonna be useful whenever you're hiding and unhiding your fishlets because the status will change to hidden whenever it's hidden and available whenever it's unhidden. So to hide your fishlet, you do fishlets hide and then the fishlet that you're gonna be hiding, which in this case will be Outlook. And you'll get output saying that the fishlet Outlook is now hidden and all requests will be redirected. And again, it'll be redirected to whatever URL you set in the config command. So now if I look at my fishlets again, I'll see that it's now showing as hidden. Okay, so it looks like the hide command took effect. If I look at my fishlets, it shows that it's hidden. And if I look at the phishing lord that I created, and now if I click it, you'll see that it gets redirected to google.com. You'll see that there's a request to the hidden fishlet. And so in this case, whatever would be going to that link would be redirected somewhere else and they won't see the phishing site. And now if we unhide the fishlet with fishlet's unhide outlook, you see that it's now reachable and visible from the outside. So let's click on this one. 
Now you can see that it gets redirected onto our phishing site. You'll see the new visitor arrived and you can go on as normal. If you look at the fishlets now, you'll see that it's available and no longer says hidden. So that's the hide command. It's a very quick video, but it's a very useful command. Now, I did come across a couple of issues whenever I was trying to set this up. Um, sometimes whenever you run the hide command, it takes effect pretty immediately within a couple of minutes. I did notice though, whenever I was hiding and unhiding, whenever I'd go to hide again, there'd be a very long delay. Uh, sometimes I waited about 30 minutes and I was noticing that it still wasn't taking effect. Um, what I had to do was just exit the Evil Gen X, um, go back into the Evil Gen X terminal, disable the fishlet and then enable it again and then try running the hide command. Uh, that did seem to work. So again, just exiting, going back into Evil Gen X, disabling and then enabling your fishlet. So what I'll do on real engagements is maybe about an hour before I'm ready to kick it off is I'll make sure that this hidden command is working and that my site is hidden. I'll send off the initial emails. I'll wait maybe about five, 10 minutes and then I'll unhide it. And by that time, I figure the email scanners will have already tried scanning and attempting to see if my link was actually a phishing site. Now the con of this is that if a user were to immediately see this and then click it and try to access it while it's hidden, you won't be able to capture what they're putting in or their credentials or cookies or anything because the site's automatically redirecting them somewhere else. So you do have to consider that whenever you're trying to figure out how long you want to have this hidden. So what you can even do is say you're planning to send out the emails at eight o'clock because that's whenever users come in and they check their emails and they might click it right away is sending it out at 7.30 with your phishing site being hidden. That way it would have already gone through the email scanners and by the time it's eight o'clock, your phishing site would be unhidden and whenever the users come in and they click it, they'll get sent to your phishing site. Or you could also do it during their lunch. So between 12 and one, you could send it out with it hidden, then after five or 10 minutes, unhide it. That way whenever they get back from lunch, you know that it's ready to go. And if they click it, it'll, they'll be sent to their real phishing site. Lastly, make sure to like and subscribe, leave a comment if you enjoyed this video, and I'll be creating a few more videos to complete the Evil Gen X fishing course.